Samantha here and welcome back to another update of last day on earth and I wanted to record this little piece because I finally have the opportunity to go back to another oak clearing and I am prepared I am hoping that this axe right here is an iron hatchet I'm hoping that it'll be strong enough to actually cut down the oak clearing um because I haven't had the success yet of like actually getting oak bricks but i wanted to show you guys this little area right here too it's called the watchtower and from what i understand it says visit a watchtower to unlock vision in this sector which makes me feel like it'll unlock all of this area right here which i think is totally awesome i actually went like the other day and recorded some footage it is a doozy so check this out So yeah, so I'm definitely gonna have to bring the artillery in order to go over there. So I have been collecting guns. I think this is like my third gun that I have right now, but I haven't been able to really collect any heavy duty guns. So until I collect heavy duty guns, I'm not gonna even try this, but I like the option because I was wondering like when I was scrolling around the map, how do you get all this area right here? So that totally makes sense. You come over here, you unlock this watchtower and then you'll probably get like a nice big sector here. Will there be other um, bases there? I don't know. Um, also, will they be more clearings for you to like like clear you know the oak clearings and all that type of stuff i don't know but anyway let's go on and go in here and get started uh it's a more like a yellow level the as you can see the threat level is two so right now oh it's quite a bit of monsters here so i'm gonna try to go on and grab i'm not gonna stay too long can i actually get this i think i can all right perfect because i think these are like logs man they take a lot There's only two oak logs per they take a lot to grab um, I have this out right now, but I think I might go on and equip my gun because just never know what to expect. You never know. Now, they do say that when you use a gun that it does create a lot more noise. Let me see. Yeah. Oak log. Wow. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm going to try my hardest to get as much as I can. I'm not going to even pick up any of these other logs. I just want all oak logs. I will get these berries um, and I'm going to try to stay away from the enemies until I'm ready because if I have to make a run for it, I want to at least have said I got enough of these logs. So I want to also show you guys my base. I have done some upgrades again and I am loving how it's coming out. And <laughs> it's it's so got a woman's touch to it. And you guys can check that out when we get back. But I'm also working on making a medicine table, I think it's called. Uh, it's a table that says you can get the alcohol out of berries. So I'm not sure exactly um, what it does. Man, they don't give you a lot of trees. They really don't. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they're like a big old bush, a big old bushel of them in the center here. And I guess I'm gonna have to go over there in a second and go check it out. But in the meanwhile, at least I'm getting some of these because from what I understand, these things just pop up. You have a certain amount of time in order to uh, get to them. And then after that is done. So you have to like take advantage. What is this? Wait, what is that? There's a person here. Okay, I'm not going to shoot y'all. I'm not going to mess with y'all at all, as a matter of fact. Can I? Okay, can I do anything? Look at this big old stuff. If I go in their stuff, are they going to come shoot me? I'm nervous. I think I'm going to try really quick. I don't know. Is that the red over there? Okay, we're going to hurry up and get this in. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. 
They came back. You see it on the map, the red on the map? They came back. Oh, it's a survivor. Um, okay, I'm not gonna mess with y'all. I'm afraid. <laughs> I know, so the comment last episode, Rory was like, I should have tried to, um, oh, here's a big guy. I should have tried to kill those uh, raiders, but I didn't know what to expect, y'all. And I'm playing very cautiously. Honestly, I've only seen like a handful of videos on this game. So I really don't know what to expect uh, as far as like what the raiders are. And, like, I don't want to go off and start shooting these people and then they like kill me. And then I have to come run back and grab all my stuff. Oh my gosh, he's a big. I'm going to try to get you, dude, before you get close to me. Ah! Oh, goodness. Point blank here. There we go. What you got on you? Some cloth. Well, you know, it is what it is. I'm probably not going to waste. I don't want to waste my gun too much on these guys. So if it looks like like these guys right here, I feel like I could just hit them with my, um, with my, what you call it. So I think I'm going to equip it. Oh, and I got this too. I'm not going to pull it out though, because I just stole it from those guys. So I don't want to chance it. Um, see like these guys, yeah, I just rather hit them with this. I'd rather hit them with this and call it a day instead of wasting my gun. Now the big guys, yeah, I'll, I'll waste my, my gun on the big guys. Uh, all right, let's get that. Eat some carrots here. All right, what do we have over here? Okay, I knew somebody else was coming. Oh, a big guy. I was just talking about you, big guy. Uh, equip, equip, equip. Okay. Oh, my gun is broke. See, my gun is almost broke. All right, let me go in and grab this stuff that he has. And yeah, like a lot of my armor and everything is like about to go out. Um, all right, so I'm going to go on and do this. Like I said, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to fight these guys. I know it seems like they got like guns and stuff on them, but I just don't want to chance it, y'all, to be honest with you. Let's see. How many logs? I got six logs so far. I got some different stuff, too. Look at this. I've never seen this before. Back box site? Okay. I've never seen that before, so that should be interesting. I'm going to go on and equip this back because I don't really want to lose my gun right now, just in case we need it for something serious. Uh, all right. Are these, these guys up here? I'm sneaking at this point. I really just want to get some logs and call it a day. I really don't want to mess with these guys. Um, all right, let's eat some carrots, eat some more. All right. I'm like, Oh, it's a big one. I should have had my gun out. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull my gun out really, really quickly. All right. Hurry up. Equip, 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 equip. Okay. Cause this is much easier to get these guys. If I have to hurt my gun on this guy, I'd rather hurt him on him. All right. And boom. All right. Now let's, let's equip it. So yeah, the guns, that's the only problem is the life on the guns isn't very long. Uh, what do you have on you? I'll go in and grab that, but I don't know. Like if I had heavy, heavy artillery, I'd probably try to take those guys out, but I don't. Oh, there's another big guy. Let me see if I can lure this guy over here. Okay, good. So then I can, get, I can take care of that big guy by himself. I don't like when they gang up on me, y'all. I just don't. <laughs> I like to play this game so safe because when you got like a pocket full of good stuff, the last thing you want to do is die and then you can't go back and retrieve your body because nine times out of 10, you know, the only thing about me doing this is my gun's going to probably break. Oh, what's that? What's that? Edible mushroom. Okay. Um, my gun's going to probably break in the middle of me fighting this guy. But yep. See, what did I just tell you guys? What did I just tell you? So I'm going to hurry up and run and then I'm going to hurry up and equip. Let me get me some more thing. Hurry up and equip this. It's not the best weapon, but oh, God, I can't, can get out quick enough. It's not the best weapon, but it will um, get some damage. And then I'll just run when I need to from him. And eat my carrots when I need to. Yeah, it's not the best weapon at all. Look at this. He's not doing the stomp thingy though. So that's actually not that bad. Okay, eat carrots real quick. And we're going to get him. We're going to get him. And boom. All right. Okay, I went through all that. He didn't even have anything on him. Okay, well, I think that is the end. Yeah, of the bad guys. Let's just double check. Um, but yeah, those survivors are coming up. Okay, here's another. Uh, let me get this tree real quick. Those survivors are coming up red, which makes me feel like they're enemies. I didn't want that. I wanted this one. Okay, I wanted this one. Okay, it's going to. Okay, there we go. I'm like, I want this one. I don't want that other tree. I want the good stuff, baby. <laughs> give me the good stuff. All right, good. And give me, oh, another one. I thought you were uh, one of those guys. One of the survivors. I don't know. Maybe I should watch some videos on this game because I, I watched like a handful about the puppies, but I haven't watched anything else about the gameplay. I'm actually liking just kind of like happening across things on my own. But then part of me is just curious, like what everybody else's experience is like. Like, am I doing the right thing? Um, OK, it's another one. All right, guy. No problem. No problem. Oh, goodness. Weapon broke. OK. All right. Old fashioned way, old fashioned way. And I'm losing uh, my gear here. All right. So let me make, oh, I have this, uh, 
Do I really want to waste this on these guys? Might not have a choice here. All right, let's grab some more berries. And here's another guy here. This might be the last one. I think after that, it's just going to be survivors. I think. All right, let me put this up. I'd rather almost make um, another spear here. All right. And then I'm going to equip that just in case. I just really hate to waste that on these little. Okay, so what's over here? I'm like creeping, y'all. <laughs> just in case. All right, so then we got more deer over here. Okay, then we got, oh, well, where'd the guys go? Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. They're shooting me, y'all. They're shooting me, they're shooting me. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. See what I'm saying? They're following me. They're following me. Do y'all see? They're taking off. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my gosh. I was like, they they left, so I didn't know. See what I'm saying? I'm glad I got away. O-M-G. I am so glad I got away. Um, I'm not gonna even chance going back in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna even chance. See what I'm saying? So I'm glad I didn't go mess with them originally. Cause when I went up to them, I kind of wait for them to snuck away, sneak away, and then I went into their um their chest. But other than that, I just oh my gosh. All right, so let's see the loot that we got. So I got this bat box site. I don't know exactly what that is. It says it could be smelted into aluminum into an aluminum bar, and then of course we got oak logs, which can be used can be cut into planks or used as fuel. I wonder what kind of planks it could be. Cause if it's cut into these, oh that's pine planks. So hopefully it'll be like oak planks. I'm hoping so. Let's cross fingers. Uh, I got some strong alcohol and um, a flashlight. And then, of course, this golf club. So not too bad. Not too bad to be sneaking in people's bases and going to steal stuff. So anyway, so let's go in and run back home. I'm actually going to walk because I don't have enough energy. So I'll be back when I get home. All right, guys, I made it back home. And I just remembered that I could have went here. And I think there's like some oak clearing, um, some oak trees here. And I could have went there. And chop those down because it literally was like from this point right here um, to like right there. Uh, I, got, I probably could have went over there first before I even came home, but it's okay. Um, at least I know that if I need to go out there eventually. But in the process of me waiting to get back home, I did watch a video on clearing that watchtower, y'all. It is not going to be pretty, but I did get some good pointers on how to um to how to do it so anyway i want to show you guys what i've done to the base um i've been focused so much on like trying to get it efficient and get it big enough for all the stuff that i want to get so you guys remember it started off like with this little area right here um and eventually i put this area in here for my little tables and stuff of that nature my rv not rv my my uh radio here what do you call this i was gonna say rv radio but that's not what it's called um i need to figure out exactly what this is because i'm afraid to hit accept because i don't want to i'm not i'm not ready to go loot people and have them loot me but i feel like i'm gonna have to get to that point eventually because i'm gonna need to be able to go get guns and stuff like that in order to clear some of these bunkers which is kind of like my um next objective is like learn how to clear bunkers and stuff because i did one a long time ago when I first started playing, but I can only get through the first level. And some of them have like four floors and they get harder and harder and harder. Anyway, so then I ended up adding this little area. I moved my um my dog pen over a little bit. Then I added this little area. And this one's gonna be more like, well, I have right here where I'm still working on my chopper parts. I still can't find this or this. And I wanna say Nate um, asked me where I got the wheels from. I do not remember, but it probably wasn't one of that bunkers. It probably was an alpha bunker because that's the only one that I've actually cleared. Uh, well, not even cleared, but that's the only one that I went through that I actually got through the first floor. Um, that's probably where I got that one. Everyone's saying too that you could get these from the bunkers. I am not sure where to get the engine parts. I have been hoping and hoping and hoping that when I do these little um, boxes here that I'll get them through there. But I haven't yet got them yet. I'll get stupid stuff like stakes and transistors and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't even want that stuff. But um, so I don't know when we're going to be done with the chopper. I have no clue. Um, so it's a little bit disappointing because... Um, yeah, I know eventually I'm going to need to finish it up. But anyway, and then here I forgot to show you guys this last time um, I ended up making a meat dryer so you can make jerky and stuff. I think that's the only thing you can make here as of right now. As you put one stick in, you get one thing of jerky and um, yeah, it'll replenish your hunger and your thirst. Anyway, so then I made this little table. I don't know why I was thinking like, oh, I want a table because I'm a girl. OK, and that's how we play. We want things to look cute. So I put a table in here. But when you zoom in on it, it's not very attractive looking. And it literally has no point. It has no purpose. But I do. I did want it because I just felt like it'll make it look more realistic that this is actually my home. And eventually I would like to create a cozy couch. But Cozy couch is the one that I told you I needed the oak planks for. It takes 20 of them. 
Um, the trunk, you need oak planks for this. It actually holds up to 35 items, which is beautiful, but you need 15 of those. Um, and then I think this is what I was going to work on today. Uh, the medicine table, it says you can get alcohol out of berries, but I'm not sure what you could do with the alcohol. So I wanted to put it in here anyway, and I'll probably will move the radio in here too, because this will be probably more like my little living quarter area. So I did move, I did make another chest and I put all my food in this chest. So you can see all the, the food that I have and stuff right now. Um, working on some more carrots and stuff like that. So that's pretty much in here. I'm just going to go in and put these berries in here. But um, yeah, so this is going to be kind of like my little living quarters. I'll probably line some more chest up in here, uh, things of that nature. And I pretty much boxed everything off. Um, what I'm hoping to do eventually though, like right now i got these traps right here, but I want to like maybe expand it a little bit further out. I want to leave these on the inside because like I said, once people start trying to raid your area, I don't know exactly what things you need to have protected. So I wanna make sure that I stay on top of that. But anyway, let me go in and grab planks. What do I need for that table? Um, okay, and I need some nails. Let me go in and grab those. Oh, and I wanted to see real quick, cause from what I understand, in order to refine these into the logs or whatever, wow, three of them makes one, and I only have 10. Wow. So basically with this bunch that I just got from that clearing, I'll only get, what, three oak planks? I won't be able to do anything with that. With three oak planks, are you serious? I need 20 just to make my stupid couch. What what of importance do I need those things for before I go crazy? Okay, so this, I need these and I haven't had a chance to find these yet. Um, trip wire protects the house from curious zombies and other survivors. Huh, I need five for that. Other than that though, and then of course you need them in order to upgrade your walls. Have you guys seen this? In order for me to up my, upgrade my walls, I need 10. It's going to take forever. Golly. All right, let's go ahead and take this out. I'm going to go and start make some. Oh my goodness, one takes 20 minutes? Y'all, I'm going to lose three of these for one and it's going to take 20. So for me to get three plain, little blocks, whatever, it's going to take me, what is that, an hour? Wow. Wow. See, it's things like this that makes me want to put this game down. That is insane. That's crazy. Okay. Um. Okay. So what is this for? Back box site can be smelted into aluminum bar. So can I use that in here or do I need that other thing? Okay. So I can use this for some aluminum bars, but four of them. Wow. I can't even use four of them make one. I only have three. So I guess I should go put those up for now. But let me see. I'm just going to go on and try to make, I want to make progress. So I don't want to get like discouraged. I can see it being very easy to get discouraged by this game only because like I do enjoy it, but it's starting to get frustrating. Like how many, I should have put this alcohol up. I should have put this alcohol up. This is the alcohol I stole from those survivors. Um, I don't even know what you could do with it yet. I know I have some as well as the beer. I have three beers, but I have no idea what you're supposed to do with them. What are you supposed to do with them? I have no clue. I wonder if I go to that watchtower every day and cut down those trees. I might have to do that, y'all. Like make it part of my plan every single day to go to that watchtower and break down those trees. Because other than that, I don't know how I'm going to get the stuff that I need. Uh, let me get out of this doorway because I notice when I stand in the doorway, <laughs> uh, people can come in, zombies and whatnot. Okay, so I need uh, 15 iron bar and three duct tape. So I have duct tape and I have iron bar. So let's go ahead and make this table. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and learn it. All right, and then let's craft it. And that took a lot of supplies, but it is what it is. I'm gonna put it over here in my living quarters because you know it's for medicinal purposes. All right, so let's get into my pocket here. Uh, here it is, let's build it. And I'll probably stick it, um, I guess right here for now. Oh, whoa, it has to be on plank floor. Okay, so I have to put it right here for now. I'm gonna put it actually on this wall. All right, so let's see what you can do with it. All right, so you can act or interact with it. So, okay, so five berries makes alcohol, but what do you need alcohol for? What do you need alcohol for? Let's see. Um, would it be for medicinal purposes? Like if I needed to make bandages or something like that? Let's see. Oh, awesome. I have a ton of these bandages. And they don't, they don't restore your life all the way, but these actually restore your life 100%, like fully. So that's actually really cool. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go in and grab some berries. We're gonna start making some now, might as well. But can I use, why can't I use like the actual, that'd be cool if they actually let you use this actual alcohol 
as, you know, for bandages and stuff, but maybe eventually that'll become a thing. So five of them make one alcohol. So basically I'm going to get four out of this bunch. So I knew I was getting those for a reason. I like to use them for quick health. You know, you guys have been watching me do that for a while. I like to use them for quick health because they give you like five health really quickly and you could just like eat a bunch of them and they're free in the wild. So, you know, it doesn't take, um, it doesn't, it's not that hard to find them. It doesn't take work to find them. You just pick them up. You know, <laughs> I think each bush gives you like three berries. So, you know, it doesn't take very long to get that taken care of. Uh, let's drink some water. So get my girl together and eat a can of beans. Alrighty. And I'm gonna go out here and drop this in here. Alrighty. And then I'm going to go put, uh, I got a collection. Oh, I made this mat too, y'all. You probably can't even see it, but it's like a welcome mat. Let me see if I can get to a better angle. It's down there in the corner right there. And it seems like wherever you place it, that's where your person will spawn when you first get on the lot. I don't know if I, I should have pointed that out when I left. Maybe I'll leave and come back so I can show you guys. Cause I really got it for aesthetic purposes. Cause I was like, yeah, sure. I'll get a welcome mat. I have the stuff for it, but it actually, yeah, it puts you right there when you spawn. So it's actually kind of, kind of cool because I actually spawned, um, before I put the welcome mat, I spawned like at the corner of my map and there was a zombie up there. And as soon as I spawned, he started hitting me. And so it's actually kind of cool. If you put it in a decent enough spot, then you'll spawn like in a safe spot. So even though zombies can kind of scoot past this, I saw that earlier one scooted past this little, I don't want to, I guess I could walk. Yeah, see, it, he scooted past here anyway. You saw how I went, I could go through it. When I come back through, though, I don't get damaged. Anyway, he scooted through that part and he came and got me when I was in my garden over here. But, you know, it is what it is. I could probably put another trap or something over there. But I'm not worried about it too much, you know, because the zombies that spawn next to your house, they're like easy ones. <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I've gotten some really bad ones, like even the rabid wolf. So I went to a red location one time. Uh, actually, this was yesterday. And I got like a rabid wolf. So the the creatures are getting a lot more... Um, I guess, difficult, I guess you could say. They're definitely getting a lot more difficult. They're definitely getting a lot more. I'm just going to go ahead and put this over here. Um, see, I have a gun right here. And I think I have a gun on me, right? Or did I break it already? Okay, no, I have, oh, 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 shoot. I thought I had three guns. Okay, so all I have is one now. Alrighty, well, I'm about to be working on guns. Uh, let me stack this over here. Put these cans over here. Um, and then I don't remember where I got these truck wheels from. But I have the ATV wheels and also have truck wheels. I don't know where I got them from, though. So I guess I should start paying attention just in case you guys ask, where did you get that from? I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> when I was looting. I mean, that's pretty much where you find majority of this stuff at. So I'm just going to put everything back where I got it from. I'll just go to stick this here for now till I get some more and then come over here and I can stack that there and put these there. And I'm gonna actually put that off to the side. I probably need to move this to another chest because I've been trying to put them see as I have this gasoline too I've been trying to put them in areas that um in chests that make sense see this is more like my eh I'll just put it in here for now I'll just put it in here for now oh what happened to it did I leave did I take oh see another wolf oh he got in the house is he in the house can I hit him huh and it's interesting because I was watching the same video that I was watching I'm gonna come around here and get him but the same video that I was watching earlier we go scoot through here. Uh, there he is. All right. Um, the same video I was watching earlier, he actually had wolves trapped in walls and he had zombies trapped in walls. And I was like, I wonder if he did that for the purposes if someone tries to loot your base and they don't know, because this is what I saw. Okay. So I was watching this video and when you first come on someone's base, it looks like this. So you have no idea that there's, there's a, there's a ceiling, there's like a roof. You have no idea what's in what box, what's in what, whatever. So from what I gather, you can pick a wall to break down. I don't know if you have like a certain amount of walls you could break down or, um, or, you know, like what's the rules with it, but you find a wall to break down and then that'll be how you get access in. So from what I can gather, it's probably best to have like a whole bunch of different little rooms and stuff. So if someone come right now, they could break this wall down, they'll get access to this room. Then I think they'll have to come and break this wall down to get access to this room. And then I think yeah, they'd have to break down one of these walls to get access to this room. So you might want to put the ones that you have chests that are special, like your guns or whatever, in rooms that aren't you know, that are, that are kind of, or maybe spread them apart. So that way, 
you know, people won't break one wall and just get to all your goodies. You know, I'm still like I said, I'm still trying to learn like the whole purpose of it. But then I was like, okay, if this guy has zombies in one of the walls, what if as a player, I go loot you and then I'm like breaking down that wall thinking that you got stuff in there. And then I got I get attacked by a bunch of zombies. I was like, that's actually pretty cool. But I don't know if that's the reason why he did it. I'm just speculating that that's why. Um, since I was able to watch some videos while I was waiting to get here, but, oh, my girl got to use the bathroom. Um, shoot, where can we go where we won't hurt ourselves in the process? I'm going to have to go out this way. I get, I don't want to do it in my base, you know, like the same video I was watching earlier. This guy like did it in his house. He like did it next to his, um, his radio. I was like, you did it in your house. I know it really probably doesn't make the difference, but I just, ugh. this is the whole concept. Like I said, I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm a girl. Okay. I'm not going to pee in my house. This is not going to happen. All right. Let's take a shower. And then, um, I don't know. I'll probably go to end this video. I'm so disappointed though, by the whole uh, situation with the log. So I don't even know at this point, um, what my game plan is. Like, what do I want to do next? I know my girl is naked, so I need to go make some clothes, but I don't even know what I want to do next because I've been trying to like pay attention to the blueprints and try to figure out exactly what I want to make. You know, like eventually I'd like to be able to make um, this radio tower. It allows you to get in touch with other survivors and join a clan. Um, so like right now we have chat, but you can't even access it. So it's kind of like, you know, it's down there at the bottom, but it just to remind you that you can't even access it. That's, that's something that I want to do in the future. Um, I did this house plant. I don't even know if I showed it. <laughs> over here but it literally has no purpose like it's just for decorative purposes um like you can't interact with it just like with the table you can't interact with it and from what I gather I'm going to assume that the couch you probably can't interact with and then there's a bed as well you probably can't interact with but uh then there's like this repair station I don't know there's like a bunch of stuff that I want to learn how to do I could probably learn how to make the machete now um so I'm probably need to go make some more iron bars um and then whenever these oak planks finish I'll probably make some more wood planks like I said I probably should have um saved my resources for that another thing I'm thinking about and you guys chime in, in the comment box is the same person's video I was watching they have more than one of the tables so he had a two word woodworking benches which I was kind of like maybe that's smart because if you want to have like two sets of um of planks working then you can kind of have them working at the same time and you know now that I'm talking about it it might be a good idea to do that because I use planks with almost everything and then especially if I'm going to start trying to farm uh oak planks or oak logs or whatever for me to get the oak planks I'm probably going to need to have like one bench dedicated for that especially if it takes 20 minutes per and then one bench um, for the pine blocks, blocks. But he had two of those and he also had two of the stone cutters table. But, you know, right now I have, um, let's see. I have, yeah, 60, what, 60, 76 of these stone bricks. And I'm not even sure what you could do with them because the next level up of um, upgrading the uh, walls take stone bricks, but they also take 10 of those, you know, um, oak planks. I don't know that I'll use them anytime soon. So I don't know. It's 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 just like uh but I do know that the 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 woodworking table probably would be I'd probably benefit from having two of those, but right now I only have three. How many do I need for for that one? You need five. Okay, so I'm probably gonna go look for some more. Maybe I'll do that next. Guys, chime in in the comment box and let me know. I think I will though. I think that's a good idea to kind of have two of those tables and then then you'll be getting like double the planks in the same amount of time because I could just load both of them up with 20 and then I'll have 20 planks, no problem. Um, and as you guys can see, I have a ton of wood. I've been farming wood like crazy. So I have a ton. <laughs> so, you know, I could just have two of those working and then it'll help with the space situation. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm actually going to put this in here too. And I'm going to equip this because I can wear that. And I probably need to, I think I have a shirt. Oh, I don't have a shirt. Okay. thought I had a shirt, uh, but I can make a shirt really quickly. Um, I'll probably make, hmm. I think I'm going to make a thick jacket because I have, yeah, I have enough for the thick jacket. So boom, boom, and boom. And let's go ahead and make this thick jacket. And then I might make this beanie too. So let me grab some of that and make the beanie. All right, and then go in my pocket. Let's equip that and equip that. The jeans aren't gonna last very long, but it's okay. And then I'll go ahead and put all this stuff back up. So I need to probably get some more fur so I can make some more of the, um, the leather. And then I probably need to also get some more, um, 
I could probably make some cloth now. Let's see what I'm looking like for cloth. Let's see what we're looking like for cloth. Oh, I don't have anything going on over here right now. All right, let's go get some more, make some cloths. So I can make some heavy duty cloth. Uh, you can use these for cloth, so that comes in handy because they're so easy to pick up. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. All right, she's hungry. Let's eat three of those. Now I'm gonna drop these in my little, what you call it, area. Uh, oh, I'm almost full with those. And eventually, so right now I have, um, I think three of these chests. Yeah, I have three of these large chests. Eventually, I want to change out all of these chests and make them all large because, like I said, space is becoming an issue. And the one guy that I was watching earlier, I swear he has like 50 chests. I mean, he was going in and out of the chest and he couldn't remember where he put stuff at. And I was like, I just don't want a ton of chests. I want like some big ones and I just want to be done with it. Um, to me, that's like the best thing to do i don't know i just feel like that's probably like the the best situation to do so anyway i am going to go on and wrap this up i just wanted to give you guys like a little update and show you that old clearing situation so i think in the process next time you guys see me i'll probably be having another woodworking bench i am positive that i probably will try to go back to the bunker um i just got to figure out how to do it because i don't want to go I don't want to go unprepared. I only have one gun right now, so I probably need to wait till I get another dealer deal, and then maybe he'll give me a gun. Let me see if he's going to be. Okay, so that's the bunker code. Yeah, I don't know. Uh-oh, going the wrong way. Yeah, so I need to definitely find some more guns. Um, I I'm going to take a better weapon. I'm going to go search for some more guns. I'm going to stop using them for stupid things, because lately I've been using them for stupid things. I'm going to actually take that one with me. And uh, yeah, let's put this guy down here. And then put him over there. He's about to die. I'll take him with me too. I'll use them all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be looking for more guns. And then so maybe next video I'll do a bunker clearing or I'll try to do a bunker clearing. Um, look at my doggies. And I'm still on the quest for another dog, y'all. I'm still looking for another dog. Uh, oh, I got more leather here. I'm going to leave it there for now because I think, yeah, I'm going to leave it there now. Well, yeah, I can, I can grab it. I'm going to grab it. Uh, so I'm going to put it up have it organized so I can know what I have because I'll forget I got stuff out here. That's just like the jerky. I'm going to forget I got jerky out there if I don't take it. All right, let's put that right there so it can be kind of organized. All righty, and do I have food on me? I do. I like to carry food and water with me just in case. I noticed with that one guy, he like literally went with just a weapon and he was just gone. <laughs> I was like, so you're not going to bring anything else with you? Do I need to make any more? Let's see here. I probably should make some more... Um, thingies here i'm gonna make some more of those so let me go put these in here i'm just trying to get some stuff done before we go so i won't waste time here so we're gonna do that yeah i'll do that all right and then i think i have carrots going on over here so i have 12 right now do i have any in my pocket okay i'm gonna take these carrots because they're like 20 health easily i'm gonna put them right here another thing you could do too y'all is you could equip another weapon here i noticed that too so you could do this one if you want to or you can like kind of switch them out and just like change them out. So if you have a gun, but you want to have a melee weapon too, I would admit, I would probably recommend that you have them both. So that way you can kind of switch back and forth. Because some some with zombies, you're not going to need to use a gun on. And some that you're going to probably need to use, um, you know, you can use a melee weapon on. So I'd recommend that. If not, I would put something of health value in this pocket. So that way you could tap it and you can replenish your health as quick as possible. But anyway, I am going to go on and go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.